good morning everybody and it's only just morning it's 100 hours 9th of May 2012 and this is Beano number 2 roughly 2 months since Beano number 1 anyway off to Palma again this time in HD 720p because of file sizes and the fact I've only got a little weedy little atom processor to drive the things on. Anyway, the big news, the big news, Carl's gone top of the dream team again. Which is good. Um, and it was five years ago, I think it was April, that I discovered Buzz Out Loud. Ball. And Molly Wood. <laughs> Don't be a botch, Molly Wood. Anyway, they're gone. Well, Molly's gone off the video. So we've got no Molly to speed me along to Bristol Airport, which is a shame. Anyway, Tom Merritt and TNT, I still got those. And a DSC. The podfather is back. Drunk, and he doesn't drink. Anyway, need to put the sat nav on and get going. A little later on, so I'm sheltered under the boot of the car. Uh, EasyJet tail fin, rain, uh, you cannot, can't even see the blue again, but I'm going over there. I wonder if I can hold my hands on that. My flight, EZY6039, burst out of the gate. breakfast but come because that's a local brew and I'm still because Europe anyway it's cast mark place no third emailing I'll start even as we speak okay so maybe mainly food but iPhone for this <laughs> and I'm just like right up that's used by Paul Carrot Wi-Fi, and this is my news. A blog man. And then download the Daily Telegraph and my Kindle. Oh, I've been reactionary about it, and there's no map cartoon either. Hmm. So, here I am. This is the sluggish boarding queue, that's the speedy boarding queue. Queue? Yeah, breakfast. And that's my plane, and I'm heading towards the back steps. Two reasons. These things don't usually reverse in the mountains. Unfortunately, there's only a front air bridge in Palmer, so I'll be last off. Since it's about 14 miles to Baggage Reclip, I don't really care. Look at the sogginess. I'm not going to miss this at all. Going to be kindling like the wind and listening to the agenda, maybe the daily source book. It's out of Bristol. The uh, weather up here is supposed to be 39,000 feet. The top bulging, no collision here. Starbucks coffee. Here. It's supposed to be 12 degrees centigrade, but it doesn't feel that way, it feels a lot warmer. And there's the people waiting to go back. So I'm going down here, uh, reclaim my luggage. Just had to do an emergency visit the little boys' room. I'm living the coffee, it's got caffeine in it, you know. Anyway, <laughs> when we landed, 
um, the crew from Bristol have said 25 minutes early and at no extra cost. I like a sense of humour. Bristol crew, which Bristol Airport is all very good. Anyway, let's reclaim my baggage and do a four square check in. So I'm sure this is the bathroom and it has a real bath when it's burned there, obviously. And I had a bit of an issue at the airport. Uh, the taxi, my confirmation wasn't a confirmation, it was asking me to accept the price, which it never has before, so there was no taxi waiting for me. So there was a bit of a ringing around, but hats off to them. <laughs> uh, they spoke English, uh, which is more than can be said for myself. And, uh, well, I took an ordinary taxi, which worked out about the same price. So maybe in future, who knows, might have a crack. Um, it's warm here, it's already very warm. And uh, I'm on the first floor, I got a room over in the pool, which is nice. And pool locks, pool leaf. And that's the bar down there, and those tables there are usually where I have breakfast. And around the corner there is usually where I sit in the night, doing nothing. Oh, and um, there's me solar chargers, charging away like the wind. Anyway, um, i got to get back to listening to Worlds Apart. I need to change out these um, clothes for Bristol.